and a welcome back to new week new game this is where i pick a game that i have never played before and i play it because i've got an extensive library of games that i have not gotten through and procrastination seems to be a very very human trait that i uh, use too too frequently today's game is sparklight now I have been randomly rolling for games in my Steam library to play, and uh, I'm glad that I rolled on this one. I didn't even notice this one was in my library. It is a action roguelike pixel graphics roguelike RPG. It's got roguelike twice in there, a roguelike and a rogue light. Forget those are two separate. Uh, tags that they use for games. It came out November 14th, 2019, has mostly positive reviews as of the recording of this video. Spark Like is an action adventure set in a whimsical and ever changing land. Battle foes using an arsenal of gadgets, guns, and gear gear up for adventure in the dangerous corners of the here we go procedurally generated world take down titans of the mining industry and harness the power of sparklight so pixel graphics action roguelike roguelite and rpg all are tags that i absolutely enjoy i'm almost positive i picked this game up uh, through a random bundle of some kind. And uh, here it sat in my library for who knows how long. Maybe since 2019. Maybe like 2020. That's kind of really when I started the whole bundle thing. But without further ado, let's get in the game. I'm gonna hit new game. We're gonna start a new game. And we're gonna do it on standard. This is the original and attended Sparklight experience. Choose this to start a new game from the beginning. Here we go. Rerouting circumvacation. Vacation. Vacation course around the storm. We need to get out of here. This storm is highly unusual. I'm detecting severe seismic activity on the surface. For now, we have full system funk. Wait. Stand by. We're experiencing a strange corrosion on our hull. It looks... it looks like it's moving. Uh, corrosion monsters. Quick, take out that muck with your wrench. Pretty sure I was the robot talking. All right, uh, come here, muckety mucks. Let's go, get out of here. Nice work. Yikes. Hammer down that nail before this whole thing falls apart. Uh, how do I hammer? Charge up your wrench attack. Okay. Boom. Uh oh, I'm gonna go over here. Get this one. Boom. Gonna get this one. Boom. Gonna jump and dash across. Boom. It's no use. We're going to have to abandon ship. Initiating escape protocol. Oh man, we're going down. How do we initiate escape protocol? Is that something to do with this? This amulet has been passed down in your family for generations. It's priceless to you. So we should probably definitely take that if we're going to be going down, right? Where am I supposed to go? Where do you want me to go for? Oh, I guess that's the escape protocol. Okay, come on! Uh-oh. Oh no, the switch is miscalibrated. There's no time. You'll have to go without me. Please, don't fret. It has truly been a pleasure serving you. Goodbye, Ada.
Crashed down, got out of an escape pod. That's flash. Uh, maybe if I do that, no, all right. Take out some leaves. Go around behind it, no we can't. Oh, parts of my ship. There's my amulet. Family keepsake. You received your family's necklace. You've had it since you were a child. The way it sparkles reminds you of twinkling stars. We can't search around for any wreckage to see if our little robo companion is still alive. Is that not... Oh, it's just like a flower. We could use it here. get inside this lightning is killing my eyes is that a crossbow hey spark slinger a spark light tensioner cobbled together with spare parts from your pockets it's a little rickety but it'll do in a pinch so why Ooh. is it rapid fire yeah rapid fire Hopefully he doesn't have ammunition. Just wasted a bunch of it. The trick is to shoot where it's going, not where it's at. Uh, replace. What are we getting? Emphony Spark Slinger. You've reverse engineered the Spark Slinger. You can now assemble it in a workbench or a workshop. I think it said workshop. Hey, we came out of there. Okay, now we're in a nice sunny area. I'm just gonna... Woo! You found a piece of spark light. This is the primary currency of Geodia. Geodia? Geodia! Oh, these things just grow back. Muckety mucks! Corrosive muckety mucks! Get em! Get em! Can I go down there? It's gonna sort of like hurt me, won't it? Well, it doesn't hurt me, but I guess we can't really go down there. There's a guy. Boy, am I glad to see another person. That was quite a storm. Never seen anything like it. And those ground trimmers. I was worried this whole place was going to sift out from under us. The name's Hawkins. And this is, uh, was my widget shop. No way I'll be doing business if these tremors keep up. I heard the rumors of a floating city where people are taking refuge from the storms. I'd like to set up my shop there, but I can't find my widget bag anywhere. Hey, think you could help me track it down? I'll make it worth your time. I think some gremlins nicked it from me during the storm. There's a camp of gremlins southwest of here. See if you can find my widget bag there. Alright, guess we are gonna go through the muckety muck. Uh, just went all at him. Boom, Hawkins widget bag. You found a widget bag. It contains some valuable looking gizmos. Someone likely wants it back. Boop. Hey, Hawkins. Aha! You found my widget bag. To be honest, I didn't think you could handle those gremlins. Who uses a wrench as a weapon? 
Thanks for the widgets. Now I can head out to find this refuge place. Folks are talking about. I didn't forget our bargain. As a reward for bringing me my widgets, you can keep the bag. Hey, you get to keep a widget bag. You got Hawkins widget bag. Now you can hold widgets you find in the world. I'll even let you keep a few timed mines I left in there. Flat and explosive on the ground, blowing up after a short duration. If you ever make it to the floating town, come say hello. Alright then. LB is how we drop a mine. Oh. Oop. Oh yeah, let's keep going. Uh oh. Sparklight five. You found a piece of blue sparklight. This is worth five pieces of sparklight. I'm just gonna leave that thing out there. I'm not gonna blow it up. I don't feel like I need to. Oh, is that our little buddy? Ada, you're alive! Listen. This shouldn't be here. He's too strong for you. Ah. Oh no. Get out of here for- ah! Boris Tunneling Titan. Okay. How do I dodge? Ow. Damn. Ah. Double damn. I understand a chance. We good. Taken to the claw machine in the sky. Adventure log, 34 sparklights and schematics. Do we do a rematch or am I supposed to die? Was he intentionally too difficult? Looks that way. Welcome aboard the refuge. It's a safe haven from the chaos on Geodia. It's also a modern marvel of technology. We've leveraged contemporary asteroid theory to achieve perfect energy a lossless flight. We pulled up, oh, pulled you up days ago, but you've been out like a light. That Titan gave you a real beating. What were you thinking fighting one of the Barons, four men alone? You need to be in a Titan rig yourself to stop one, or at least as strong as one. I don't know what you mean by any of that. Hold on. That gives me an idea. Can I see your wrench multi-tool? Yeah, sure. Yes. That's prime. Okay. This will only take me a second. Ahaha! It works! I've outfitted your multi-tool with a patch board. Oh, you'll also need this. Increase maximum health by a quarter heart. Equipable at the multi-tool enhancement machine in the medical facility. It's a resonance patch. You can equip it in your multi-tools patch board to survey or to survive more hits down on the surface. Remember, you can only equip patches from the multi-tool enhancement machine here in the med bay. With enough patches, maybe you can take out that foreman and rescue your robot friend you've been mumbling about in your sleep. But if you want more patches, I'm gonna need more sparklight. They're powered by the stuff. The only way to get more sparklight is from the mutants and gremlins back down on the surface. If you want to go back down, speak to Cruz on the East Docks. There we go, we just did complete the tutorial. Bronze Resilient Patch costs 50, we got 84, we could buy one of these. Bronze Max Energy Patch and Bronze Multi-Tool Damage Patch, which is 100, so we can't buy that one. And then what's this in the back? Kinetic Converter, which is 300, can't get that. But, could buy one of these. Get our health up even more. 
This is the machine I take it we're supposed to use. I do that. Increase maximum health by a quarter heart. Quit bullet the multi tool facility. Place. And again. Ooh yeah. Now we have a half a heart. Upgrade medical facility costs two fifty. Uh, let's talk to this person. That's the refugee's chief engineer. He hasn't spoken since we launched the refuge. What a mess around here. I can't even think. I need some spark light to get my workshop back in order. These gadgets won't invent themselves. Construct a workshop, which is a hundred. Guess we're it's just gonna have to wait. Hey, there's the guy. I'm not much of a salesman if I can't set up shop. How am I supposed to earn a living? If you can find some more spark light to power my widget shop, I'll give you widgets for free. It also cost a hundred. Yeah, break the barrels. What's this thing? Off studying the mutations in the acid bog, Professor Corwin. What's going on there? Hmm. I hear something chirping nearby, but I can't find it. Will you help me look? Yeah. Sure. You're right on that. I just gonna say the same thing. Aha! I found it. Wow, it's a beat! Wasn't that the happiest sound in the world? I've been searching everywhere for more beats. I can't believe you found one! Beats used to be easy to find, but the Baron's pollution makes it hard for them to get enough air to sing. And when beats can't sing, they eventually wilt and die. They've started hiding to avoid the pollution. But I'm afraid they will all die if we don't find them soon. If you find any beats during your adventures, send them here so they can sing with us. Oh, my name's Harmony, by the way, and this is my golden beat buddy, Tempo. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to, very nice, nice to meet you. Alright. And then there we can break. Uh, let's go down here and talk to this person. All aboard! Hey there, rookie. I'm Cruz, ace navigator and pilot. When you want to disembark, talk to me, and I'll ferry you where you need to go. So, are you all geared up and ready to head down for some spoils? Yes. Wahoo! Away we go! light illuminates the area for a short amount of time cool where do I go from here sit up here maybe I gotta use this way down here. Get out of here, I want you to sing. 
guess not. So you're supposed to go down this way? Yes. Actually, see a little bit in the dark. Doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go. It's all just wall over here. up I guess this way to the golden woods Find a beat in the world. Uh, Adrena boost packs a punch of adrenaline, healing for a small amount of health. Oh, here's the other one. Only got two options here. To the vine lands. All right, so I guess we can't go this way just yet. Oh, it did look like there was one other way to go. So we'll just go right over here. It's a little grimy monster. Uh oh. Spark light 10. You found a piece of white spark light. This is with 10 pieces of spark light. Oh, that one's already been damaged. Ew, take that little grim monster guy. Keep going in one direction. Watch your step. Fractures have been randomly creating sinkholes. Professor Corwin. So it's down here. that guy as he came out of there more spark lights now if we go back with the 134 that we got I could build somebody's shop uh, let's go down oh look at that thing Ooh. Oh, fell off didn't know I could do that Wow, I didn't think I'd meet anyone out here. I'm Pogo, nice to meet you. I was exploring with my sister, Margo, but we got split up. I can't go back to the refuge until I know she's safe. Think you could find her for me. When you find her, give her this medallion to let her know I'm safe. Hey, I found this uh, medallion on this guy's corpse, here you go. The stone medallion signifies Pogo is safe in his travels. Thanks. Be careful if the world fractures before you. Find her. It'll break the med at medallion. We were exploring the vine lands when we got split up. 
Maybe she's still there. Well, I can't really get to the vine lands if I can't open up that damn portal. this more. Boom. Boom. Get him out of here. Now it's too close. Um, should we go to the left? Almost left one. Let's go down. Here we go. Found ourselves a little dungeon to explore. This kind of reminds me of like Mega Man Legends where you would go to the dungeons. Oh, what is this? A boom balloon. A spark light inventor backfed into a spark like was it rectifer? Typher? <laughs> Recitifer? It's so volatile that it must be suspended to protect it from bumps and bruises. Safety first. So what's it do? Oh, I can control it. Oh. Boom. Get to the next area. Guess there's something around here. Oops. Oops again. Up. Just go up. Go. Alright, I guess we're going this way now. Controls are a little wonky, but hey, we're getting it. Understanding it little by little. Boom. Let's move on. Ooh, movable ones. How's this work? Can I fly over this? Yeah. Turn my... Get that one. And oh. Oh, we unactivated if we hit it. No, oh, go down. Uh. Ooh, we got it. And now we replace it. Yeah! Epiphany Boom Balloon. You reverse engineered the Boom Balloon. You can now assemble it in the workshop. I wonder if dying's the only way to go back. So I want to make one of these, like, workshops.
so that's one. Uh, there's three other ones. The Shifting Sands. What's this? It's like a mine of some kind. What's inside? Going down and down and down again. Ooh. Bronze max energy patch. Increase maximum stored energy by a small amount. But both the multi-tool enhancement machine and the medical facility. I haven't found out what energy is used for. Blow up. Come on. Explode. Alright, let's go. Cool. So that's what that's for. these guys did we already go this way I think we did oh we haven't been up here back at you. What's this? Scatter bomb. Launches spark clusters into the air, exploding all around you. What is that this thing? Nothing bad is in a tent. Oh, it's not a tent. It's actually the front of a ship. Gonna hit your hit your house. How do you like that? Let's see what's inside. There's a person. Yar har har. Look what just washed up, mateys. It's like a cardboard pirates. It's our next contestant. What are we waiting for? Come on down! Alright, what's up? Today's your lucky day! We have an exciting game for you to play here on... Monty's Hall! I'll just need to see your crew card to get started. Stop everything! You don't have a crew card? Looks like you'll be... Walking the plank. Ah, I'm just pulling your peg leg. We are happily accepting new members. Here is your brand new, exclusive, one of a kind, Monty's crew card. Hey, you got a crew card. Look at that. Guaranteed fun for all land lovers, scoundrels, and scallywags. Every time you play my game, I'll add a star to your card. Get 10 stars, and I'll upgrade your crew rank. Today's game costs 10 spark lights to play. Want to try your luck? Sure. Wahoo! All right, here's how you play. Open one of these here chests for a chance at a big reward. Uh, so it's this one. 
Not so fast. Before you pick, how about I make this a bit easier? I'll open one of the empty ones. Now, are you sure you want to open that chest? Oh, now I kind of want to open the middle. Jackpot! Monty's coin. He got one of Monty's coins. He'll pillage so much booty that he practically is giving it away. These are worth 50 sparklings. Oh, damn, 50. All right. Ruby, what a blast! Well, that's it for today, folks. We'll see you next time on Monty's Hall. Well, all right, that's just a thing that's going to happen now that we'll come across as we're going. Um, uh, what? Where are we at in time? Because I could keep playing this game, but I don't want to go too long. We're past 30 minutes. It's 36. I really wanted to get back and like open one of those workshops. I think we kind of get the gist or the idea of uh, how it works. Very similar with roguelikes on this channel. We played a ton of them in New Year New Game, and I found a new enjoyment for them. Uh, this game is amazing. I like it. I will definitely add it to the list of games to play again in the future. Uh, I absolutely enjoy pixel graphics. I'm a big fan of the pixel graphic art style. There's a lot of things that are happening in here, which is also a positive. I like that there is like Monty's Hall and uh, different interactions like the mines are going down under to like, I guess, practice different types of weapons that you get blueprints for and can make at a workshop. So hoping to get the workshop going so we can see how that works. I'm sure everything is just like a uh, spark light exchange type of thing. That seems to be the only resource that we are currently collecting. And then uh, having that element of being able to change up what kind of items that you get every time that you do a run. Uh, the only way back, I'm assuming, is if your character dies, then they go back and you start again. I don't believe that there's any type of map, but I haven't really pressed anything. Aha, there is a map. Cool. So that's even better. So we can actually see like different areas that we've been to, uh, other areas where we should go. We're in Golden Woods, I guess, is the one. Titan's Ridge, Sinking Sands, Acid Bog, Golden Woods, Foothills. Uh, so we, we won't get lost in our supply bag. I see has a limited thing. Scatter Bomb, Adrenaline Bush, Pop Light, which I could replace there. Can I... Okay, I was like, oh, is this gonna let me use these two gadgets so we can get a little crossbow and a remote controlled balloon bomb get that going break rocks we found a sing thing which is a whole thing on that ship and uh yeah i would really like to get further in the game but i i enjoyed it i had a great time playing it i would have kept going had i not you know not on a, a time limit we can't add this to our patch unfortunately because we do got to go to the med bay to do that so uh yeah well we'll get there eventually i'm sure but real fun game really nice enjoyed it anyways that is gonna do it for me thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next game goodbye